welcome everybody to our new show that uh, is called Fool a Stacker. Uh, the idea behind this show is we are going to kind of talk with some random people at the company. Our first guest today is Chrissy. Uh, say, say hi, Chrissy. Hi. There we go. Um, and the idea here is Chrissy just going to kind of talk a little bit with us about something, uh, anything really that she'd like to talk about. She's kind of passionate about. Then our form stack magician, Richard, will show a magic trick. And then Chrissy, if she would like, uh, will have a chance to try to guess what that trick is or specifically how Richard is doing that trick. Uh, if she gets it right, she wins a prize. Sure. Um, and we'll go yes. from there. Matt's so, approval is the best prize. There you go. Yes. Uh, okay, Chrissy, what do you want to talk about? Um, well, recently I've been re-watching old CSI. Um, it was a show I was really into in high school. The original one with like Grissom. The original one yeah. with Grissom yeah. and stuff. Um, and like I even thought about becoming a forensic scientist and stuff. Um, oh, wow. but obviously did not go that route. <laughs> but that's something I've been doing. It's just in my free time I've been rewatching old CSI episodes. Nice, nice. That, that was a good show. I, I remember uh, watching it when it first came out. And then CSI Miami was the next one, right? That was the spin yeah. off with. Horatio. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, so are you uh, are you deep into it? How, how many how many seasons does the original season? Oh have? shoot. Um, well, of course, obviously they changed from Grissom to a diff I think Lawrence Fishburne's on it for a while. And then they switched to Ted Danson. Um, but I, I was gone by then. But yeah, I'm, I'm on season two, so I just Kind of got restarted into it oh wow i didn't realize they had switched between all those different characters yeah mm -hmm. I, I bailed on that show before i got too too deep i always found that show funny because uh for a while uh i used to think and i'm sure a lot of people did too that like oh yeah man you just like take a spray bottle full of this chemical and you spray it and now now we solved it like that's not at all how actual CSI stuff works. Oh, yeah. like, like it takes months and months like to analyze a fingerprint right or but, it's like let me get that dna sample for you yeah <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> it's like five seconds <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's so funny and, and you know shows like that too like just the way they have a uh kind of a an effect on like society and like pop mm -hmm. culture and stuff because like i feel like they kind of paved the way for like all the like murder mystery shows that we have now right that are like you know focusing on serial killers and and stuff like mm -hmm. that like i feel like csi was kind of like the first to really break into that market and kind of get past just the standard like law and order procedural cop show kind of stuff um yeah, it was it was an interesting show for sure. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, anything else? Um, besides having too many animals in my house, no. Not too yeah. Much. How many animals do you have? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I own three cats, two dogs. But we're fostering another cat right now. You got six. <laughs> Yeah, it's too that's much. a lot. It's oh man, yeah. oh good gosh, yeah. your litter box must be just a war zone. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, okay, so I guess we can go ahead and try to do our trick. All right, I am ready. ready? For this. Richard, okay. you ready? I'm totally ready. I've been saving all my words just for the trick. Okay. All right. Let's see it. All right, let me uh, swap cameras real quick. All right. So fancy. Okie dokie. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Loud and clear. Perfect. All right. So what I'm going to do is just a unique deck of cards. I would say regular, but this one was custom made for uh, these tricks. Um. So today, since I, I don't really have a way for volunteers to be present uh, with me, um, well, first let's go ahead and oh, brag cool. about 
our form stack branded mm -hmm. cards. Ooh. Fancy, right? Um, but but today, instead of you being here to physically select a card and then do all the steps I normally have a volunteer do, uh, we'll try and do our best to get this accomplished virtually. So I guess go ahead and give this shuffle, maybe a couple cuts. Mm -hmm. And then just so that way you can see, it's your typical deck of cards, all the different ones. Um, what we're going to do here is normally I would have you cut the deck into two separate piles. So since you're not here to physically do that, uh, I guess, how would you like me to, to cut the deck for you? In halves, in a third? A uh, let's do thirds. Third? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with a third here. Well, yeah, I guess we'll just do that for now. So a third there, and then um, the two thirds here. Two -thirds. So now, okay. pick one of these two piles, and we're going to cut that one as well. Okay, let's do the bigger pile um, in half. This one right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, and we'll cut this one in half. Okay, and then we'll pick one of these three piles and cut that one as well. Okay, um, let's go with the smallest pile. So, is it this one or this one? Uh, the one in your left hand. This one here? Yes. Okay. And how would you like me to cut this one? Uh, let's go in half. All right. Get about as close to half as I can. Mm -hmm. cut that one as well. Okay. This question might not make much sense since you're not currently here, but one of the questions I normally ask when someone is present for this trick is are you right handed or left handed normally? I'm right handed. Right handed? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means we'll start with the deck that is on the rightmost side, and then we're going to deal the top card to the remaining three piles. So taking the, the deck on the right side here, take the top card, top card, top card, and then this is normally where I would have you say a magic word, which it should be able to work remotely. So if you want to say any magic word you want. Uh, Shazam. I like it. Now we're going to flip over the top card on each pile. But before okay. I do that, there is absolutely no way I could have known which piles you would have told me to cut and exactly how to cut those piles. Can, can we agree on that? Yes. Alrighty. So now for the grand finale, we'll flip over each top card. Oh my god. And there you go. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Very cool. Holy cow. Nice. Okay. Uh, Chrissy, would you like 30 seconds to try to guess how Richard did that? I'm, I really have no idea. Um, obviously he has, he's not wearing long sleeves or anything. Um, yes. I, I'm, I'm baffled. I'm not good at guessing how a trick is done, but I'm really impressed. That was cool. <laughs> so is it Very fair good. to say that we have fooled a stack? Uh, I am completely fooled. I think we yeah. just fold our first stacker. Yeah, definitely. Awesome job, Richard. Uh, okay, so to kind of end this segment, uh, Chrissy, is there anybody in the company you want to give special props to? Shout out somebody that has made your world easier. Um, I'll shout out Tiff on Sign Team. I've been asking her for a lot of different favors recently, and she's always very kind and helps me out. So thanks, Tiff. Awesome. Props to Tiff. Okay. Uh, everybody, thank you for watching our new show. Uh, it will get more polished as we go on. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure about that. Chrissy, thank you for being our first guest um, at the end of Spirit Week. We're going to release a form and we'll be doing this show once a week. So if you would like to be fooled or potentially uh, call out our magician and say, you know how the trick is done, uh, there will be a form that you can sign uh, or excuse me, a form that you can submit to sign up and I will be in contact with you. Otherwise, thanks and have a good spirit week, everybody. <laughs>